Dr. Clark, I'm Dr. Crabtree. This is Norman Anderson. Howdy. He's a 75-year-old gentleman that presented here to our emergency department today. He was at home doing some work in the yard, cutting some logs, developed some weakness in his left arm and left leg, had a hard time grasping the ax and walking on his left leg, feeling like it was going to give out. Well, stroke's a, a very serious uh, issue. Uh, it's the uh, third leading cause of death. It's the leading cause of adult disability. With regards to stroke care and neurologic emergencies, we know that time is brain. You need treatment as quick as possible to prevent long-term complications from that stroke. An ER doc is faced with a decision whether or not to start this specialized drug, and that's often done in consultation with a neurologist. In a small community such as ours, we often don't have the neurologist immediately available. Through telemedicine, we can have a specialist, some of the best in the country actually, seeing our patient immediately. We have a, a stroke team, a group of physicians that's available 24-7, 365. Five to 10 minutes max, we'll be there with the patient in terms of our image, we'll be there on the screen with them. Tell me your date of birth, if you could. March the 17th, 1935. Norman, I'm going to show you a picture here. See that picture? Oh, yes. Go ahead and describe what's going on in that picture. One of the things, if we can have direct communication with the patient, uh, talking to the patient, talking to the family, we can help nail that down exactly when, when it happened. The second is it's very important that you look at some images that are obtained uh, called a CAT scan. And uh, with the telestroke, we can look at it right on our computer at the same time that we're talking to the patient. We can see what a CT scan looks like to see if it would be safe to think about some of these therapies. Hold your arms up. Now turn your palms over so they're, there you go. Now hold them right there for 10 seconds. Keep it up. All right, that looks great. A lot of those patients that might have to come up here, have an evaluation work up for nothing, could now stay there and we would be able to tell, no, you know, this really isn't a stroke. I think you're going to do fine without treatment. I can definitely say having this relationship with OHSU, having immediate access to specialists, has improved our ability to take care of patients and it helps the patient feel more comfortable that they're getting the best care anywhere in our community or in the nation in general. Well, the good news is your symptoms seem to be getting a lot better. Excellent chance you're going to have a full recovery here. So I think we'll, we'll talk a few things over, figure out the best way to go, but you're doing great.